where does India stand uh, in a global uh, scale as far as Blackstone is concerned? Well, India is actually quite important to our firm. Uh, it's our biggest investment market in Asia. And when you look at our equity investing across our firm, uh, first is the United States, no surprise. Second, United Kingdom. India's third when it comes to equity investing for us. So it's very important for our private equity business, for our real estate business. Over time, we hope to expand, hopefully into infrastructure, growth equity, maybe private credit over time. But this is a market that served us very well. We've been at it. Next year will be our 20th year in India. Right. And uh, the idea that we've bought uh, companies at this point in real estate worth nearly $50 billion is with more than 100,000 employees today. It's pretty remarkable, but it feels like to us we're still in the early stages because of the great fundamentals here and the terrific team we've got on the ground. So Blackstone's AUM in India is about 50 billion, as you mentioned, and there's a publicly sort of stated target of expanding that by 25 billion. Uh, over what period of time is that and what kind of sectors are we talking about? Well, I know that came out of, an, uh, I think, an interview with my colleague, Amit Dixit, who runs our Asia private equity business out of India. Um, the idea is that we'll continue to expand really in the areas we have been over time. Uh, part of that will come from growth in the companies we're already invested in. But in terms of where we'll deploy capital, I think a lot of it will be in companies in the made from India category, which is India exporting out to the rest of the world, something we've done a lot of. We did that with an EV parts manufacturer business called Sona Comstar. Uh, a lot of it will come from IT services. We've done a lot of that exporting to the rest of the world. And then I'd say made for India. So what we think about there would be companies serving this growing middle class. So a lot of investing in healthcare. We just bought a hospital chain, financial services, uh, the money management business, we have a housing company that does residential financing, we have a travel services business, VFS. We think there's a lot of opportunity serving this middle class. So it's an export-oriented focus. It's also focused on the middle class here. I think energy transition can be another area because there's so much need for energy here. You know, all of us want to try to find opportunities in that space. And then in real estate, it's supporting those efforts. So it's IT parts supporting that IT push. It's logistics, uh, which can be last mile for e-commerce or for companies exporting. And it's data centers. One of our biggest pushes globally at the firm has been digital infrastructure, which is really the physical manifestation of AI. India's short data centers. We've built a company in that space. We've got a couple of projects under development. We're excited about that too.